Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React. Today we are going to learn how to translate your React app with the React Intel. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So basically I am using this npm package and uh, they have pretty much downloads, you can see that. Okay, so we are going to use it in our localization with the React app. Okay, so let's see how we are going to make it. So first of all, I have the only the app.js file. Let me close this and let me open the code from here. Okay, so first of all, we have app.js file, right? So let me comment this one. Now we are doing the another one that is translation so first of all this is your translation okay after that we have to create two more file folders that is translation translations okay they have the translation folders i think let me check translations we have to create these two files that is en.json let's create this over here and the uh, en.json let's paste this code okay next we have a translation that is fr.json for the french language so here we are going to create a new file again now add this one Okay, this is done. Let's try to install the package. Let's go and copy this one. Let's add this package. There is issue installing, so we will using the legacy pdips to install this package. Okay, npm run start. So here you can see that by default is English. When I click on the French, it will change to the French language. When I change it to English, it will reflect back. Okay, so in you, here you can make a drop down also for the switcher. And uh, when the one language is selected, you can set in the store and use into your whole of the, your application. Okay. So let's see how we have implemented. So here we have our app.js file. So React and the use state from the React. And these are the two files that we are using for the translation messages.en, messages.fr. Okay. After this, we have the app where we have a locale to set which with this use state. Okay. So by default, locale is English. Okay. So when you are going to change the locale, so you are going to set that locale over here. Okay. And after that, in the Intel provider locale, we are going to set that and with messages with locale so whatever the locale is set and we are going to fetch with messages dot uh, fr er en whatever it is so over, over the all it is gonna be reflected because in the formatted message you can see that we have app dot title app dot intro depending on the locale okay if it is en then according to the that one app dot title app dot intro will come if it is fr then according to it it will come okay in the formatted messages right Next, we have the button clicks. So when we have to change the language, then this EN is set. When the change, when you click on this button, the FR language is set. Okay. On the behalf of it, the language is translated. And at the last, we are going to just export the application. Okay. So this and we have a two files that is FR and EN. Okay. After doing this, you are able to get your React app internalization with the React app okay so this is how you can do the translation any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day